everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to the start of spring. It's such a beautiful day outside today and I've been so eager to film this video but I just felt like perhaps it was a bit too early but we are in the second week of March and spring is definitely in the air and I know so many of us are really eager to get our wardrobes ready for the spring because we are all quite frankly a bit sick of winter and we're all looking forward to spring now. I've done these sorts of videos for a couple of years now and I absolutely love doing them and I've really enjoyed curating the pieces for this video because these are my spring wardrobe essentials and my spring staples and with these items you could make countless amounts of outfits so here are my spring wardrobe essentials staples and you could also call this a capsule wardrobe as well because you could make so many outfits out of these pieces okay so let's get straight into it i'm going to start on this end first up is the white shirt such a classic for me i do tend to buy a new one at the start of the spring season just because i fake tan i use makeup i'm clumsy i do tend to stain them so for me this is actually something that i normally buy a new one at the beginning of spring rather than some of the other pieces you'll see I kind of get out year after year but a white shirt I do like a clean new white crisp shirt for the start of spring next up is a classic coat you can choose this in a color that goes with your wardrobe we you prefer wearing I obviously have gone for a neutral colored coat because this goes with many outfits and as we're coming into spring in the UK we still do have a few chilly days so I'm not talking a big thick winter coat just perhaps a lightweight coat this is a lightweight wool blend coat so you've got the warmth from the wool in there but also it's still quite nice and lightweight and not too heavy next up is a spring knit so i've actually chosen this in a pastel pink i'm really enjoying pastel pinks and really pale blues at the moment i love adding a little bit of color to my wardrobe at this time of year and i love to do that by adding these soft pops of color so pink and blues have been my choice so far last year i was obsessed with sage and i'm sure that will come into my wardrobe as well soon and as you will see as we go through the rest of the items that this will go with lots of pieces then we have got a simple white t-shirt i got this one last year from arquette and i believe this was about 35 pounds and i know you might think that is perhaps a bit expensive for a white t-shirt but i have tried many many t-shirts i've bought many kind of 10 pound white t-shirts and they are just they just don't last and this one is a beautiful a much thicker structured material it hangs lovely because it's thicker i bought it last year i got so much wear out of it last year and i'm gonna get wear out of it this year so for me i'm happy to spend that bit extra to get that long lasting quality okay i have also put a sweatshirt in here because even though in the uk the lockdown um, rules are going to be easing i know that i'm still going to enjoy wearing more casual pieces perhaps not full loungewear all the time but i still want to kind of add a few of those elements into my spring wardrobe because we're still not going to be going to kind of as many places as we would be and i'm really enjoying these casual styles so i have put a plain neutral sweatshirt in here where you just want something a little bit more relaxed then we have got a pair of light color faux leather trousers so in winter my black faux leather trousers are an absolute staple i wear them all the time and then come spring summer i still love the faux leather trousers but in a lighter color which is more appropriate for the springtime these ones are from amazon and i've worn them so much i love the fit i love the color love the quality and i don't want to keep repeating myself but as you can see when we go through all of these pieces nearly everything in here you can wear like all of the bottoms you can wear with the tops and vice versa there's just so many outfit combinations they're all so easy to mix and match and i think having a pair of light colored bottoms um, just gives you a nice alternative to jeans as well next is a stripe knit so stripes are as you can see i'm wearing them um such a great print for spring i absolutely love stripes i'm sure you've all seen this jumper it's been doing the rounds on the internet it's one of those zara pieces that everyone has and for a good reason too it's such a lovely piece really versatile really easy to wear perfect 
perfect for spring. Um, if the Zara one is sold out, I will also link below a mango one. They have an almost identical one. Any kind of striped knit will be perfect. Next up is a pair of light coloured smart trousers. I love to wear trousers like this with the white t-shirt. You could also wear it with the sweatshirt. I love the juxtaposition of the smart trousers with a really casual top like the sweatshirt. When we get into shoes, you'll see that I've got trainers and sandals, which both you could wear with these trousers. So I think this is just a nice, slightly smarter piece um, to have in your spring essentials. Sticking on the slightly smarter theme, I've got a beige blazer here. And if you have been following my content for a while, you'll know I love blazers. I've been obsessed with blazers for years and years and years and I just get so much wear out of them. Even in the spring and summer, they're a nice lightweight jacket to pop over your t-shirts and tops when it's not quite warm enough to wear them on their own. I love them as a layering piece. I just love the look a blazer gives. I love with a blazer you can kind of just throw on and go and it really finishes off a look um, and gives you a really nice chic and sophisticated look. So a beige blazer is an absolute essential for me. So back to some stripes, we've got a blue striped shirt here. This is a really nice spring piece and I love the look of a blue striped shirt with white jeans or even blue jeans with some trainers. It just gives that really nice kind of smart casual look. As I said earlier in the video, I I like to add a bit of colour to my wardrobe this time of year and adding something like this into your wardrobe um, just subtly brings in a little bit of colour because you've got the white in there as well so it's nothing too major but it just adds a pop of colour and I, as I said as well I love the stripes. Next up is a luxury high quality loungewear set. This is my set from H&M that I absolutely love. In the UK, a lot of the lockdown restrictions will be lifted in the spring. However, I know that many of us are really enjoying the loungewear and I especially would like to continue to wear it here and there. So I have included a really nice set in here that can be worn as separate. Loungewear you can wear with sandals, you can pop the blazer over on as a bit of a smarter look. So so you've got a really nice comfortable set here, but you can kind of dress it up and down with your other pieces. Okay, next up we have got probably the hero piece um, of a spring wardrobe, and that is a light blue pair of jeans. These are actually the Levi 501 cropped. Uh, these are a high rise with a straight leg. I got these from Amazon, so I will link these exact ones below, but I've also got many other styles as well. These are just my latest ones. They fit really nicely, and blue jeans just, for me, such a spring springtime thing. I don't really wear blue jeans too much in the autumn and winter, but come spring, I absolutely love them. I love them with the white shirt, just a plain tee and trainers. I really, really like them. I know that I just said the blue jeans were a hero of the spring wardrobe, but actually the trenches as well. So a trench coat is undeniably an absolute, like, year after year, spring, timeless, peace. I can't get any more descriptive words out for it. A classic item that will come around every year, but getting a really nice trench coat just completely elevates your outfit. I love the look that a trench coat gives. It's very chic and smart, yet it still has quite a casual tone to it. Um, you can wear it over everything that I have shown you today and in the spring it's such a nice lightweight jacket to throw over. So I've gone for a neutral stony colour for mine and then the last piece of clothing for our spring essentials is a black blazer. As I said with the beige blazer, you can just throw it over anything, everything that I have shown you today you can, whoops, everything that I have shown you today you can throw this over. But having it in black perhaps is a bit more smarter, dressier, perhaps more for evenings. What else can I say about a black blazer? Another wardrobe hero. Right, let's move on to a few accessories. I have got two pairs of shoes for your staple wardrobe. And that is a clean, nice white pair of trainers. I've got these VGL runner trainers, which I absolutely love. They're so clean at the moment and I want to keep them that way because I really feel like clean white trainers uh, look so good. And then I have got a new purchase and this is a pair of whoops these are black Birkenstocks these are the Arizona style 
I, let me just show you, the slippers that I've been wearing around the house, they're not Birkenstock, they're just from H&M, but they're filthy, I'm embarrassed to show you. Uh, that style, I've just been loving so much, and I've never actually owned a proper pair of Birkenstocks. I've had kind of the look-alike ones, um, but never actually a pair, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to get them. They're so, so lightweight, and I know that I'm going to get loads of wear out of them. I'm already picturing them with so many of the outfits that I have shown you today. They look really nice with jeans, even with like a trench coat or the loungewear. Yeah, I'm really, really looking forward to making many outfits with these. And then, I promise, we're nearly there. A belt. You can't go wrong with a belt, it just smartens up an outfit. If you've got a gap at the back of your jeans, it can cinch that in. You need a really good belt in your wardrobe. A pair of sunglasses, these are fairly new ones from Monkey. I love the shape of these. Sunglasses are for me an all year round thing, even when it's not sunny. I just like to have them around because if I'm doing photos or something, I just often just like to put them on. Sometimes I just feel a bit like covered and protected and hidden away from the world, or sometimes we all just want that. Um, they make it, they make outfits look just chicer and I, I just love sunglasses so much. And finally, to complete your spring wardrobe, you need a good neutral bag. So I've got my Prada white leather bucket bag here. It doesn't have to be a designer bag. This is just my bag that I love to pair with all my outfits. Definitely choose a neutral color or a black bag that is going to go with all of your outfits. This bag, because it's white, goes with everything that I have shown you and that's what I always look for if I'm going to be spending a lot on a bag. I want to wear it with all of my outfits. So yes, my final piece is a neutral bag that will match with all of your outfits. So there are my spring wardrobe essentials, a spring capsule wardrobe. I like a stuck record, keep saying they're versatile, mix and match, but that really is what they are. If you was going on a trip away, you could literally just pack these straight in your wardrobe, but you can make so many different outfit combinations with just these pieces. So. I really hope that you have enjoyed this video and it gives you some inspiration to get your spring wardrobe ready. As always, all of the items will be linked below, but many are not new, so I will link below alternatives as well. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel if you don't already. Thank you so much again for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!